Hey guys, what is up? Cody here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver. This is part 24. In the last episode, we beat Gym Leader Whitney officially with um, Heracross, who got the level 19, and learned Brin Bri Brick Break. God. And uh, in this episode, we'll be adventuring off and continuing with the uh, what we have to do. And another thing I forgot to mention, uh, these cops, they're actually trainers. When you can fight them at night and night only. Your Pokemon look pretty tough. You go anywhere safely. I guess only certain cops, or maybe it's just silver I'm thinking of, like the original generation. Anyway, that's how it was, or is, or I don't know, something to the sort. Over here is the Poke Asphalt and Dome. I will check this out next time in the next episode with Willy123T. Uh, regardless, I will continue off and venture off into the National Park. And although it would look beautiful in the daytime, I'm playing this at night, so yeah, but still pretty music. I'll come back here in the day to show it off too, though. Anyway, you can fight trainers and whatnot. And new wild grass that you may or may not be used to. And Weedle. So you can find Weedles and some other Pokemon in here. Pretty much the same con- actually, exactly the same concept as the other grass, just looks different. So you get the gist. Continuing on. What does this guy say? Today's Tuesday. That means the bug catching contest is on today. The rules are simple. Using one of your Pokemon, catch a bug type Pokemon to be judged. Would you like to we'll do that in this episode. Oh. Wait, 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 what? Oh, okay. Alright. We have 20 minutes. Go out and catch the strongest bug type. Let's do this. Let's go. This is gonna be, I don't know. We'll see. Metapod level 12, we can do better. Real quick, I just wanna see if we have, like which Pokemon we have. Oh, it's Sandy, crap, we don't have, um, going to go ahead and switch out to uh, beat fanfic because uh, he has sleep powder and other moves that will help us um, catch Pokemon easier so that will benefitly help the situation of the competition footsteps okay real quick I want to show off this route over here this is route 36 you can pick up um, a different kind of abricorn right here it's a blue blue abricorn blu you can find a magician right here and then move on but I don't want to do that right now but that's route 36 wait okay it is 36 I sometimes get my routes mixed up anyway let's give it a try yes so we are receipt we have received 20 sport belt balls yeah I can't talk today and uh, we have to catch Pokemon, bug type Pokemon, and the winner gets a special prize or something. But anyway, concept's quite simple. I don't think you can fight trainers during this competition. I may or may not be wrong. You may just have to attack them. Level 17 Kakuna, that is fairly tough, or uh, fairly strong, but not the best Pokemon on this route, to be honest. 
but we'll still go ahead and give it a head butter too, and then give it a nice little sleep powder to finish it off. Using Harden helps since uh, we don't, if we get a uh, critical hit, it won't, it may or may not kill it all the way since, you know, it keeps hardening up. But I don't want to give it another shot, even though it probably won't kill it. Most likely it will get in the red zone. Actually, I will try it for the sake of doing so. It is only a Kakuna after all. Any more um, damage will just be worthless. I accidentally ran. I didn't want to do that. I really didn't. Ooh, a Beedrill level 12. Ooh, I kind of want to just keep this for myself. But it's only level 12. A good tactic to use here is to put on... Ooh, Scyther! It's really good. A good tactic to use here is to have a level... A, a slightly low-leveled Pokemon and use a Repel. Because Repels uh, wear off Pokemon that are the same level as uh, the, the first Pokemon in your party. Or lower. So say it's level 14. Using a Repel will... Uh, will make sure that, such as the Scyther, it will not show up. Or, or any other Pokemon that's under the, the level of uh, 14. Um, but say it's over level 14, you will still have to encounter it. Such as that level 17 Kakuna we saw. So I actually I will fight this. Since it is Scyther, and Scyther is a pretty good, decent, really good bug type Pokemon. But uh, I don't think there's any Pokemon over the level of 21, so there'd be no point of using a repel. But uh, that's just a little strategy point I want to throw in there. I know it's useful for other situations apart from this. Uh, critical hit, very nice, it got in the red. So now we can use a nice little sleep powder. And use a nice little sport ball to finish it off. Hopefully it stays fast asleep. Dang it, how is it? How did we not catch that, really? Like, seriously. It kind of ticks me off. I mean, it's fast asleep, it's in the red. What? Oh my god, that was. Shoot, it was so close. Well, at least it didn't wake up yet. That's what I'm glad about. Da -da 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 -da. Alright, there we go. Took three tries. So now we have 17 support balls, I think. Caught Scyther. Alright. Let me just cl uh, check how long I've been recording. Alright, only eight minutes. Uh, no, it's one level under Scyther, and Beedrill will probably not be counted as better than, uh, Scyther's. Oh yeah, perfect, we to level 10, we'll win the competition. I still doubt a Kakuna, like, I don't know if it's either the Pokemon being better, or if it's the level, or both. Like, I don't know which counters in more, but we'll see. Because even if I did catch that Kakuna level 17, I don't know if Scyther level 14 would be better. Just because it's Scyther and Kakuna's not that good. A Venonat. I've actually done this competition in the past on my actual DS, and I did catch Venonat. I don't think it was level 12, though. I think it was like level 14 or 17 or something like that. Um, but I think I got second place using it. But, uh, it's only level 12. Alright, I'll try a couple more tries, and if not, Scyther will be the choice of our uh, descending competition result. Metapod level 15, no thank you. Dun 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 dun. So the catching bug catching competition i'm not sure which days is it's on if it's only on tuesdays that would be awesome and very lucky because i was not 
I, could, I didn't remember this, so playing it on Tuesday would benefitly help. And if it was a Wednesday or Monday, I'd be like, ah, no, especially if it was a Wednesday, I'd be like, no, nah, I gotta wait another week, and if it's Monday, I was like, oh, I'll come back tomorrow. But then, <laughs> so, yeah. Paras level 16. Not the best Pokemon, but it is level 16. But Scyther, I still think we'll uh, bypass that. Alright, we're trying for three more, because it's already 10 minutes. And then we'll stop, so, uh, two more Pokemon now. Ah, uh, no, okay, let's make it three starting now, actually. Alright, Scyther, level 13. If it was a higher level, I would have caught it. But, uh, we already have you. Alright, two more now. We, Caterpie, level 9. Even better than that Weedle level 10. I was trying to be sarcastic, but... I don't know which one's better. Caterpie or Weedle. I think they're like evenly the same, but there could be uh, a difference. I didn't want to do that. I did not. I hope that does not catch. Well, that was a mistake. Swap the Caterpie for your Scyther? No. Okay. We are done with the competition. I don't want this video to be any longer. So, I have 14 minutes left. Do you want to finish now? Yes, please. Okay. Please wait in the National Park for the announcement of the winners. 14 minutes later. Quick 14 minutes. Huh. I love how we're all here in front of the, uh, the fountain at night. We will now judge the Pokemon you've got. I don't recall it being out here. I think it was like inside before. We have chosen the winners. Are you ready for this? Place in the third is the Poke Fan William who caught a writhing Venonat. Score was 277. Okay, I think it's the Pokemon then. <laughs> Ah, oh, come on, no, I was in second place. A wriggling Scott Scyther. 291 points. Alright, let's see who the winner was. What? What was it, a higher level? Fuck this competition. I win the Everstone. That was gay. Fucking Cody, second place, Scyther. But that doesn't beat the first place being Scyther. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, yeah, why not? I'll call it second place. That was really gay. Second. I'll use numbers. Second. Place. There we go. And it's a female. Party's full, so second place was sent to your box in Bill's PC. Luck plays a big part in this. Never know if Pokemon will appear. I heard that using Pokemon with beautiful colors make it easier to win. I wonder if that's true. I don't think it is. Well, I'm satisfied because I caught a Pokemon I wanted. Listen, I caught a Scyther before, but I didn't win. God damn it. It's easier to win if you get a high level po bug Pokemon, but I think they also consider some other coins. Okay, so I think it was higher level. God damn it. God damn it. God damn Hey, it's 8 o'clock now. Alright, well, thank you for watching, everybody. Next time we will adventure off. Actually, no, we're not going to invent. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Next episode, we're going to be uh, doing a bunch of stuff. We're going to nickname uh, a Pokemon on our uh, on our team. I'm not going to give away that. Um, as tradition, 
uh, for Willy123T, who has already done this Let's Play. It's always a tradition for us to do something special on Part 25, as Liz calls me, as well as going to the Pocathlon Dome. So, um, look forward to the next part, because Willy will be in it as part of the tradition of our Soul Silver Let's Plays, where we do special stuff in Part 25. So, thanks for watching. See you then.